In this video, you will get an overview of how to create an online simulation for your Arduino circuit. So this is great for two things. First, you can just create any circuit you want without any hardware. And second, you can also test your circuit before you upload it to your real Arduino board. So the simulation tool we are going to use is named Tinkercad, okay, and that was released by Autodesk. So this is a free online simulation. You don't need to pay anything. You just need to create an account. So you can just type Tinkercad on Google and go to tinkercad.com. So you will arrive to the website and what you can do directly is to create a new account here. So you are going to choose create a personal account. And then you have different options to uh, create the account with emails, Google, whatever. So just choose the method you prefer and create your account. Okay, and once you have created your free account, you can just log in and you get to this dashboard on Tinkercad. On the left, you have, so you have a menu with 3D designs, circuits, code blocks, lessons, etc. You are going to go to circuits and that is where we are going to work with Arduino. As you can see, I already have some circuits and those circuits belong to an online course that I have released named Arduino for Beginners. Okay, so if you want to learn Arduino from scratch and get a good foundation, check out the link uh, in the description. And now, so you have here circuits with nothing. When you start, you're going to click on that button, create new circuit. Okay, and you get to a new circuit, which is empty. So this is an empty project for now. The first thing you can do, maybe is here you can see we have the name which is automatically generated and maybe doesn't make uh, any sense to you. So what you can do, just rename. I'm going to rename it with first program. You can rename your circuit. And then the first thing you are going to do is, of course, to add some component to your circuit, starting with the Arduino board. So on the right here, you can see you can toggle this. You have the list of components you can add and there are actually many 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 components and you can see we have the Arduino Uno here so you can also search with the search bar for Arduino so for now you can only use the Arduino Uno with Tinkercad so you just click you drag and drop and you get the Arduino Uno here so now what if you want to write some code and upload the code to your Arduino well you go to the code here you click on code and you will see blocks so you can decide to use blocks to control your Arduino. Okay, that is an easier way if you have never programmed before. But what I'm going to do here is you can select here blocks or blocks plus text or just text. Okay, if you click on text, it will ask you, are you sure? You say, of course, yes, I'm sure. And you have the text editor here where you can write the code that will go inside this Arduino Uno board. Okay, you can see here, this is the board that is selected here that's this one and as you can see the program is not empty here you already have the blink led example okay where you set the mode for an led which is the led number 13 and actually the led number 13 with pin 13 here on the arduino board is that built-in led so we are going to be able to blink that built-in led so now, what if I just start the simulation, I click on start simulation, you can see here the LED is blinking. So first add the Arduino to the circuit and then just toggle the code. You can just run the first example like this. And now you can modify the code. Okay, You can add anything you want to the code. Note that if you start the simulation, the code editor, yeah, you can see, is stuck. You can't add anything. So you have to stop the simulation if you want to write some code. All right, now you can toggle this window. And if you want to add more components, well, you can just search for the components here. Let's say you want to add a breadboard. I'm going to add a breadboard. Okay, you just add it here so you can zoom in, zoom out. And then you can add many components. For example, LEDs, you can add resistor, Okay, you can add potentiometers, photo resistors. You can even add LCD screen. Well, many different components. And the code that you have here will be basically the same that you have on your Arduino IDE. So first you can create a circuit here, run your code, 
And then if you have a real circuit, then you can just copy and paste that entire code to your Arduino IDE and run the code on your real circuit. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.